This morning I have a message titled Battle to, re, to Actualize Your Vision or To Actualize the Vision. Battle to Actualize Vision. Battle to Actualize Vision. With Herod hearing about a king born and he said, okay, go and get me information about him. And they got the information. And the angel have to come. Don't take that route. When this man went out, he didn't see them. He felt deceived. He sent him make a decree that every child below two years and two, they should be killed. He wasn't after Jesus. But everything we have against the dream, after the dream. The brethren of Joseph wasn't fighting Joseph because of Joseph. They were fighting Joseph because of the dream. Because of the vision. Because of the purpose God had made it to represent. Somehow, sometime, looking at all that happens around us, you will discover that our life is threatened by the very purpose that we are designed to represent. May the Lord help us. Joseph, the point, went to look after the wife of his brethren. Getting to see them. He planned to kill him. To tell you that they were not after him. They were after his dream. They said, we will see what become of your dream. Uh, no matter the people around you walking against your dream, walking against the purpose of God for your life, walking against your person, don't fail to live for a purpose. They are the great dream. You think the whole earth is against you. Everywhere you turn, everything seems to be against you. It's because you are carrying a heavy potential that, is a, that they have seen ahead and they don't want that light, that star to shine. But it will take you to say, Lord, this thing I have seen, there is a heart you have. There is a level, there is a strength you know you sense out that you have. But every time you take a step to doing it, you just discover that there is a fight against you. Either you are sick or you are attacked or one thing or the other just happened. What they are attacking is not the things that need to die. What they are attacking is a dream. Now, if it is a dream, use what they are attacking. Give it up so that they will not have any means to attack you again. Give it up and hold on tight to the dream. How? By totally serene on God. Lord, you have put this thing there yourself. I know what can bring it out is my relationship with you. And you hold on tight to God. Not the flesh. Not worldliness. Not things that will make for the dream not to be actualized. And Moses at the time he thought he could use the physical to carry out the dream. He went, we know the story. But afterward, he ran into the wilderness. And there, no home, no palace life, suffering, became a shepherd, turned 360 degrees to another thing altogether. And he knew that there's no other option but to zero in on God. What flesh can give to you cannot be compared to what God is going to give to you. If you can give it up and zero on God and trust him for his grace to be revealed in your life, you will see that what will become of your life no man can ever give it. How? Elisha was asked to abandon the twelve houses, I mean, houses of this thing, big animal farm, 
big a Greek work. He was God. And at the end, he became a national figure. He became a national figure. He was not carried away by the things he left. The things of this world, no matter how beautiful, how rich they can look, it can't be compared to what God is going to give to you. You may not have it big now, but the little you have known, use it to live for God. Use it to trust God. Use it to wait on the Lord. Wait, the place of waiting, please, the place of waiting is very crucial in making your dream to come true. The place of fasting, the place of praying, the place of seeking to hear God continually, every day in what you are doing in life. Hear God. Get his inspiration. Receive his direction. Yesterday, victory is already gone. Today on, you need a step of faith. You need to trust God to lead you through the safe path so that the things that will happen that day will not swallow up the hole that had happened before. The time of this period you are in, whatsoever you are in now, no matter the glory, is a time of preparation for a greater glory. Can you yield to God and say, Lord, have your way my life. From today, I live for you. I don't have any other thing I live for. I just reduce my life. Everything about me is not going to be self, self, self.